Hello, welcome to CTN Member Highlight. Today I'm here with Michelle Patrick and Mark Chad Chadbourne from Pride Portland, the co-chairs yes. of Pride Portland. Welcome. Yes. Correct. Thank, Thank you for having us today. Well, you've just come out of an amazing, huge, just a big week. Yes. And probably more so this year than past years because of some of the awful things that have been happening around the country. But there was a lot of support here in Portland for some wonderful things you're doing. There was a lot of support. Yeah. How did you feel about how the events went that week? The events went really well. We were in our third year, mm -hmm. so each year we're growing a little bit more. Um, and we had about 20 events over the course of 10 days. Uh, they were all really well attended, and I think the community was really grateful for the opportunity to gather, um, given the events, mm -hmm. the uh, the massacres that were going on that week. Yeah, yeah, that's terrific. I think uh, over the three years, uh, I think we've gotten better. Everyone's gotten a little better at what they do, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a accumulation of that and the weather, and of course the events mm -hmm. uh, that happened leading up to Pride. Um, just brought a lot of people out, and again. Like we all acknowledge, the the community support was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So now Pride Portland, that that's the major event of the year. It is. But you do other things as well. Do you want to just give a brief background about Pride Portland, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about some other things that are coming up. Yeah. So we're we're an LGBT organization and nonprofit, and um, the mission to kind of abbreviate it is really about honoring our history and bringing community together. And it does uh, culminate in the Pride uh, Festival and Parade uh, the third weekend of June every year and commemorates the uh, the civil rights movement that was sparked back in 69 in New York City. Um, and we, um, yeah, this, this uh, in the third year, we're doing a little bit more each year, and throughout the year, we're committed to doing more events throughout the year that are really community building, um, and also bringing the local businesses together with us and, and kind of connecting everyone in various ways. As well as uh, other nonprofits. Mm -hmm. The 10 days leading up to Pride, we like to um, partner with some other area nonprofits that maybe want to do some programs. We don't, you know, Pride Portland doesn't have to, isn't necessarily running every every evening, you know, event. Um, sometimes it's a, it's a um, partnership, which mm. is nice. It's important we give to point them opportunities. out that we, we did 20 some odd events, but the greater community there were, in our guide, there were probably easily 20 other events going on that week. Uh, right. by amazing other. that we're yeah. tied in with all yes. of this. Mm -hmm. Well, I, it was amazing to see the number of businesses and nonprofits that mm -hmm. took place in the parade yes. that day. It was just one after another, and it just went on and on. I think it was the longest parade I've ever been to in my life. It was <laughs> wonderful. And of course, it's just full of color and, and yes. excitement. Right. right. But now you have something else coming up soon. It's, an, it's an election? We do. We, so we have regular community meetings mm -hmm. because we are 100% volunteer driven and community driven. So we're constantly um, trying to keep the community involved and get ideas from the community. So we'll be having not only the community meeting on Ju uh, July, <laughs> July 27th um, at 6 p.m. at the New Equality Center, but following that, our steering meeting, it's, it's time for the board to turn over. Um, different positions turn over each year or every two years, so we'll be doing an election that evening as well. Now, do you have a slate of people who are up for election, who, who want to run, or? Yes, there's, well, so our board consists of 14 mm -hmm. seats, and I believe 10 of them are gonna be open at this time, oh. yes. Wow. But there may be there may be uh, chairs that are interested in in uh, holding that position again. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's also four at large uh, co-chairs that we're look uh, chair persons that we're looking for, um, as well as some other uh, position positions that c uh, committee chairs have termed out of, um, mm -hmm. like uh, the festival, mm -hmm. I believe, and the parade. And so there's a, a lot of opportunity for uh, community involvement for those people that maybe want to get involved, maybe have a, a voice mm -hmm. with, uh, right. in, in making pride, right. what you know, putting giving pride a direction or, or um, helping out making making pride uh, happen again next year. 
So this is a good opportunity for someone who might want to get involved to, to get in there and maybe get elected to the board? Or Absolutely. It's literally helping steer Pride Portland mm -hmm. um, and the, the direction will go. And, you know, we're again, we're only in our third year, so it's not like we're doing the really? same old thing every year. We're still learning and growing and, right. um, and taking input from all directions. Yeah. yeah. And anyone who might want to get involved um, can would have a big support group behind them with people who've already done this there. Mm -hmm. It's not like the whole group is turning over and new people oh, coming in without any that's idea. That's correct. That's no. correct. And there's always an opportunity for people who aren't necessarily ready to chair a committee mm -hmm. uh, just to come and learn about what committees are, uh, are working committees and join the committee and mm -hmm. just work on the committee. So uh, and, it's kind and, uh, of the, the tier, so if you will, is so there's the steering committee and, mm -hmm. and there might be like the, the chair for the parade, for instance, mm -hmm. um, we'll have a co-chair and then create a team. Oh. Um, and then, you know, more volunteers on top of that. So there, there are so many ways to be involved without taking a leadership position, but we absolutely need the leaders. <laughs> um, but that's also, it's also a great evening to come out for the six o'clock meeting to find out about how else you can be involved. If you don't have the time to be on a steering committee, you can find out what all the different teams are and what it entails. And, you know, whether you volunteer for an hour or many hours, there's, there are th opportunities throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And lots of, lots of room for creative thought in this absolutely. whole oh, absolutely. venture. That's, that's you, how we've gotten here. <laughs> <laughs> now you meet the third Wednesday of every month, or is that something I read and it's not quite We've, we've right? been meeting the last Wednesday oh, of the, the month Wednesday for the steering month. committee meetings, yes. Mm -hmm. the, the community meetings have been a little bit all over the place because mm -hmm. we try to allow for different schedules. Right. Um, and if people want to find out more, who can they contact? Um, one of the best ways to keep the most up to date is on our Facebook page. <laughs> you can just go to Facebook and, and put, just in put in Pride in Portland, Portland and yeah. it, it comes yeah. right up. Yeah. Well, thank you both, and it's exciting, and we're looking forward to next year's big events over that week, Pride Week next year. Maybe it'll be Pride Month, the whole month in Portland. Yeah. But yeah. thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks, Thanks for, having for having us. us. Yeah. Appreciate it.